we just thought that Richard Stanley doing Island of Dr. Moreau was one of the most exciting projects we'd heard of in a while. This is going to be a huge project and this is going to propel Richard Stanley into the superstardom that he deserves as an auteur. It was a script we were extremely confident in that we thought would be some sort of milestone in the genre. New Line tried in different ways to contain the material. I wasn't particularly enthusiastic about the project, frankly. There was some lunatic movie that's known as one of the worst films ever made. Marlon Brando and Val Kilmer were there to mess with the film as much as possible. I've dealt with some very, very difficult actors in my life, but I have never ever dealt with somebody like Marlon Brando. He wanted an ice bucket on top of his head. He'd covered himself in white paint. I think that's how the whole mini-me thing developed, of Marlon ad adopting this little guy. It doesn't matter who directs it. It's not, it's not, it's not about the vision, it's, a, you know, it's about the stars. Did you hear about, oh my god, the, the Richard Stanley climbed into a tree today, it wouldn't come down. He was living and breathing Moreau, and then literally just have that murdered. I think he probably went a bit mad. I think once that rumour started that Richard Stanley was in the background, that I think that just grew into Richard Stanley then wanting to sabotage the shoot. As it went on, it descended into more and more kind of madness. I knew that this was going to be totally insane and that we were going to be hugely lucky if we just finished a film with a beginning, a middle and an end. Knowing that the odds were stacked against me, I resorted to witchcraft. I've often wondered what happened to Richard Stanley. <laughs>